After 56 years at the old ground, Hull are about to move over to the city's new £45 million all-seater super stadium. The end of an era, but I bet you're itching to get into the new stadium. Yeah, I've just come back from there this morning. We've had a lot of fans tours this morning and corporate days. and it, it, Absolutely superb, and it inspires everybody. The players have been down to see it. They can't wait to play at it. Peter thinks it's one of the best-looking stadiums he's seen. So we are genuinely excited about moving. But before Boothry Park's last hurrah, the walk of legends, Hull City's 100 greatest players. Well, you think of Hull City, you think of Ken Wagstaff, Chris Chilton and Ken Houghton. Wagstaff moving in, Houghton coming off the far post, Chilton getting up. What a day, Ken. Superb, isn't it? You know, this is what Boothbury Park was about. Um, we had all this in our time, it is excellent. Is there going to be a tear in your eye when the final whistle blows? Well, I think there's a few now, unless it's raindrops. <laughs> <laughs> and Chris, to see all the old boys, I saw you carrying Andy Davison out here. Ah, oh, <laughs> marvellous. Superb, it really is. He had a tear in his eye wagon when he had to buy the first round. <laughs> <laughs> but never mind. <laughs> but it really is. It's, it's, it's brilliant. So emotional. <laughs> but the club has to move on. True. Very true, and I think the chairman's leading by example, to be truthful. There have been, <laughs> been tremendous memories for everybody, you know, and it's a, a tremendous ground, but like Chris said, we've got to make progress. We've got to go on, and hopefully in the next era, we're going to do well, you know. So the chairman's done a great job. That's how we continue. And aside from all the nostalgia, there were three vital points at stake yesterday, with Darlington hoping to spoil the party. Fantastic to see Boothbury Park absolutely full. Around about 15,000 here to say goodbye. So here we go, the last ever game of football at Boothbury Park. And uh, Darlington must feel like the uh, sort of spare parts here in a sense. Supporting cast certainly. But Peter Taylor, I know, has been stressing to his players that while uh, they want to send their supporters away with a win on the last day, they can't get caught up in all the emotion. The Tigers, as always, are in their familiar yellow and black. But Peter Taylor's got an excellent record since he uh, came here. Unbeaten in eight league games under him. Ashby wins it fair and square and gives it to Green to advance. He's got men right and left. The one on his left here is Elliott. Holt still looking for this elusive first goal. It should have been there. Gary Alexander holds his head in his hands. The lovely cross in from Elliott. The best movement of the game so far. Prompted by Green. Continued by Elliott at pace. The cross wished the cross and... Gary Alexander flew in and diverted it wide of the far up point. Well, <laughs> Opion was held at bay, but it was a foul, and uh, Joseph is penalised. Clark is just one of the big defenders up for this one. Oh, it's thrown off the underneath of the bar. It was a little with his header, chance for Clark still, juggles Clark, booted away from his toe end as he did juggle with it, and now it's out and over the top from Opion. Well, the closest we've had to a goal, everybody who seemed to be looking at Matthew Clark in there, but it was the captain of Darlington, Craig Little, who eventually put in the effort, which came back off the whole City crossbar, and finally Opion couldn't convert when Darlington had their first real chance. Hodgson attempts to give his marker the run out, the ball is good, it's Conlon, he might have scored, and Darlington will score! It's Darlington who take the lead here, Simon Betts has come steaming up on the outside here to drill that ball into Hull City's net. It was an excellent break down the left-hand side, led by Richard Hodgson. Simon Betts coming from the right-back position, the former Scarborough player has drilled this ball into Hull City's net and he's still smiling about it. It's his first goal in three years. 
Well, one thing's for sure, the honour of scoring the last goal at Boothbury Park won't go to the top goal scorer of the club, Gary Alexander. He's been withdrawn for the second half. That's a nice move straight away. Oh, and a terrific save as well. Fabulous save here from Michael Ingham. It was a, a shot hit by Elliott that was flying in the top corner and Stuart Elliott might have scored for Hull in the first ten seconds of the second half. And there's a ball over the top here, it is a chance, it is Phil Jevons and he's brought down by Little just outside the area, it could even be a red card this. He was goal side with Jevons of the last defender and if referee Warren sees this as a red card offence, Darlington are in trouble. Yes it is. Darlington skipper goes and drama on the last day at Perth Ferry Park. This may well be the last red card that they'll see here. All looking for an equaliser at the dawn of the second half. They haven't got it, it's the side netting, it's a corner. The crowd roared around uh, Boothbury Park there. Many people thought that was a goal, depending on the angle of view. Valentine. Get it through. They need a break and need this one forward quickly. It is forward, it's great. He's onside. Is this the moment for Stuart Green for Hull? Oh, what a wasted chance. He had a player up there alongside him as well in Elliot Green. He decided to take the goalkeeper on, failed to beat him, and Stuart Green wonders where he went wrong. And now it's Jevons for Hull City. A decent ball in, it's flicked away. It's Green, flicked away, surely now. How on earth did he miss? Well, that's uh, quite a astonishing let off, John Anderson comes back to do his defensive chores knowing he'll never make a striker what a miss and is the ball ever going to go into the Darlington net Melton the cross has to be good it's a deep one so taken away, Green thumps it back in I do not believe that, this ball is just not going to cross that line and uh, there must be a hidden shield protecting Darlington there hammered back in by Stuart Green it then took a deflection I'm not sure whoever it was knew anything about it and the goalkeeper Ingham literally fell on the ball on the line the curtain comes down on 56 years of footballing history for Hull City but Darlington have ruined their big day with a single goal from Simon Betts who has the honour of scoring the last goal ever at Booth Ferry Park and Hull City who really should have had something out of this game squandered their chances and so go down to defeat but move on as a club I've only been at the football club for two months, uh, but I, you know, I understand about people being here a long time, watching their favourite team, uh, and so it must be a very sad moment for a lot of people here. And uh, but everybody supported it superbly, you know, in attendance and in voice. And uh, so, you know, I'm sorry that we didn't get them the result that they deserved, but uh, hopefully we can take that to the new stadium. After the break, all the rest of yesterday's nationwide league goals, but for Hull fans, the end of an era.